the first thing that needs to be uh, uh, realized is that the president has, uh, you know, made official, the uh, lifting of the health emergency. He has formalized it. Although, de facto, by practice, we have been, uh, we have exited out of COVID about a year ago. Na, mm -hmm. uh, we've opened up the economy. We've brought children back to school. Uh, in some sense, this is an achievement also for the current administration. Mm -hmm. Although it cannot take the, uh, uh, you know, uh, cannot claim any benefit more than that because uh, much of the work for uh, making the country resilient mm -hmm. uh, to the last pandemic uh, was really done by the past administration yes. to the massive vaccination program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's important to for people to understand that uh, ushering in the country, exiting out of COVID, reopening the economy uh, in a calibrated manner also took a lot of leadership and mm -hmm. a lot of planning. And uh, Okta understood that. Uh, some of the fellows of Okta have been working with government closely in this process. Mm -hmm. Okay, And uh, now it has been realized and now formalized. So that's one major achievement of the president. Really just uh, ushering the, or exiting out of the pandemic mm -hmm. in a calibrated manner, uh, in a gradual calibrated manner, so as to uh, jumpstart economic recovery. And uh, that is a major achievement. Now, uh, Okta believes that uh, while that this is a, a very positive sign, a uh, excellent formalization of a process that the country went through ushered by the uh, uh, ushered in by the leadership of the administration it feels that a lot of uh, the promises made in the past sona and of course uh, needed reforms in healthcare mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, are, are, are going to be key in you know, in uh, the, the second sona speech mm -hmm. you know uh, fulfilling uh, advocating um, significant reforms in our healthcare sector is important. Yeah. If we are going to learn from the lessons of the last pandemic and realize that it is a question, as Octa always, always poses, it's, a que it's not a question of if, but a question of when the next pandemic will uh, hit us. Okay, um, we, need to be we need to prepare. Mm -hmm. I mean, key lessons from the last pandemic was, number one, science matters, and mm -hmm. we need to strengthen uh, that community uh, in the service of the country. Number two, uh, disease surveillance no? and management is is is, a, is an institutional capacity which is very weak in the country and needs to be realized. No? And uh, reforms towards uh, strengthening it have to happen. Mm -hmm. Third, and but I think very important is that the healthcare system was what made us win the war against uh, COVID. And the most important aspect of the healthcare system is not just the beds you know, and ventilators, it's really the people, the healthcare workers. The government really has uh, uh, to pay uh, more than lip service no, to strengthening the healthcare capacity and the uh, human resources needed for that healthcare, uh, healthcare system in the next few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means raising salaries, that means recruiting more nurses and doctors, that means building more facilities. If uh, the president can promise, from my own point of view, no, a will build better, more program, it should really focus uh, not just on mindless infrastructure, but really infrastructure for health, education, okay, and for agriculture.